Hey, how's it going? <laughs> this is a great show. I just want to uh, give a shout out to every performer so far. This is really cool. <laughs> All right, so um, my story starts a couple years ago. Um, a, f- a couple friends and I were driving past a Wendy's, and I'm not going to say which Wendy's it is, but <laughs> let's say it's the one across the street from a college called Mudson Mally Mimunity Mollage. <laughs> So it's, uh, it's, it's me, Mike, and Sarah. We're driving by, and we noticed that the sign out front was broken, their neon sign. It normally said, old-fashioned hamburgers, but it was broken, so it said, old-fashioned hamboo. And <laughs> the word hamboo just really resonated with us. And, and I came up with the phrase, y'all got hamboo? And y'all got hambu for the 15 minute ride home. We were just saying it over and over and over. Y'all got hambu? Y'all got hambu? Y'all got hambu? And uh, we, we decided that, that y'all got hambu was just such an amazing phrase that it needed to be shared with, the, 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 with Wendy's. So, um, so we got the phone number for Wendy's. And uh, I called them up. And uh, they're like, hello, Wendy's. Uh, y'all got hambu? Excuse me? Y'all got Hambu? <laughs> Click. <laughs> um, and, and it was just really funny, so we kept doing it. Uh, and, and we kept doing it over and over and over, um, multiple times a day. Each of us were doing it on our own phones, and it, it just, it was hilarious. Uh, it got to the point where, where they, they knew what we were going to say. As soon as we said y'all, they would just hang up. Um, but it was still hilarious, and it, but we wanted to get the y'all got hambu out of there, so so uh, we started calling up with, with different things first. So I'd call up and I'd say, "Hi, Wendy's. Um, how much is it for an extra slice of American cheese?" Oh, um, y'all got hambu, and uh, they they were not happy. Uh, Hi, do you guys have uh, veggie burgers? No, um, y'all got hambu. Uh, they, they were getting thoroughly pissed, um, and, and then I thought it would be funny if I asked them a more complicated question. So I, I would call up and I'd say, hi, um, now how much sodium is in your large order of fries? And, and they'd put the phone down and three minutes would go by. Uh, obviously they had to go in some handbook and look it up. Um, oh, um, now y'all got hambu? And <laughs> these people were getting really mad and, and it was just so funny. We started telling our friends. So, you know, uh, three people calling a couple times a day turned into 10 people calling 30 to 40 times a week. <laughs> Uh, they were getting really mad, and I, I thought it was time to, to move into phase two. Um, so phase two, um, at this point, they didn't know what we looked like. They, they just were getting phone calls. They didn't know what our car looked like. So we waited until um, they, they closed the restaurant and just the drive through was open. So we, we, we drive up slowly, and, and we order like a hamburger, french fries, drink. We, we drive, drive through, and we pay the lady. Uh, she hands us the food, and, and I, I say to her, I'm like, you know, I used to work in fast food. I know how difficult it is at night, and, you know, this is really fast. I love you guys. So here, I handed her a folded-up dollar bill. She smiled. She took it. She thanked me. Uh, but little did she know, uh, before we folded up that dollar bill, in a Sharpie, I wrote, y'all got hambu. <laughs> So <laughs> we know what's coming, and, and we, we we're just slowly driving past, staring at her. And, you know, she's happy. She's, you know, she's like, she's got a little extra pep in her step, and she's just smiling. And, and we see her um, unfold the dollar bill, and she just tenses up. <laughs> and she's right next to the counter. She palms the counter. She, put, she leaps over the counter, lands on her feet, runs to the door. She makes eye contact with me. It's just banging and yelling. We couldn't hear what she was saying. Uh, so uh, how this, this restaurant is set up, you have to drive all the way around the restaurant again to get out. Um, so as we're, we, we, we obviously pick up the gas, we, we start driving faster. And by the time we pass the drive through window, her and two other employees are wedged out of the window. Ah, screw you guys. Ah, F you. Screaming at us. 
that was hilarious to us. <laughs> and and uh, we continued the, the, the phone calls, um, but, uh, but their responses, instead of just hanging up, they, they would stay on the phone and they got vicious. Um, uh, we, one, one person was like, yeah, I just banged your mom last night. Uh, another guy uh, told me he, he wished I would get AIDS uh, and die. Um, it was getting quite vicious. And, and after about another week of those kind of calls, uh, we decided it was time for phase three. So, um, so we went to a, a grocery store, and we got a day-old birthday cake, um, and we got a, a frosting gun. And um, my friend Sarah, she, um, she, she wrote on it, uh, y'all got ham boo. <laughs> so we, we waited for the restaurant to close, uh, so just the drive-thru was open. And uh, we waited for, you know, so they, so they would just be at the drive-thru. Uh, we parked a little bit further away, and I snuck up, and I put the, the birthday cake right outside the, the exit. And I snuck back, and we went, and we parked in this parking lot that was kind of overlooking, so we could still see in, we could see the people. And um, I called them up, and I, I acted all, I was very nervous. I, was, I acted nervous. Uh, so, um, uh, hi, I, 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 just, I just got home. Uh, I was at your, your restaurant, and I can't find my wallet anywhere. Um, did you guys find a wallet? Uh, you know, I think I might have left it there. And she, she's very nice. She's like, I'm oh, sir, sir. Um, you know, we haven't found anything. Let me go talk to a couple employees. We see her put the phone down. She walks in the back, and uh, she's obviously asking some employees. She comes back. You know, no one saw anything. It's not in the lost and found. You know, I'm really sorry, sir. And I was like, ah. You know, I was sitting near the soda fountain. Maybe it's underneath uh, the booth I was sitting at. And she's like, oh, well, let me go check. We see her go over. She kind of like glances under. She gets on her hands and knees and she starts like reaching around looking for it. She comes back and she's like, sir, you know, I just looked and I know we, we, had, we swept earlier. No one found anything. I'm really sorry. I don't, I don't think your, your wallet's here. And I said, well, geez, you know, like I've got money in there. I've got my credit cards. I've got my... My, my driver's license, oh, man. Oh, you know what? I keep my wallet in the same pocket uh, that I keep my car keys. Maybe when I took my keys out of my pocket in the parking lot, my wallet fell out. And she's like, oh, well, I, I can go check. So she puts the phone down, and we see her, like, kind of walking to the door. And then she notices out, out of the glass door that there's something. And she, she kind of, like, stops and kind of walks out. And uh, she, she leans down. And she sees the cake, and she reads it. She poof, kicks it, runs over to the phone. Fuck you, motherfucker, you piece of shit, you hamboo bullshit. Do I have to deal with this shit all the time? Screaming at me. <laughs> I have to give it up for my friends, because they were, it was on speaker, and they were silent the whole time. We just burst out laughing, and we could see her just flipping out, throwing stuff. It, it was amazing. <laughs> and... Uh, so we, we, we toned it down after that. Um, but we still, we, we called a little bit, but it, it eventually kind of died off and, and we stopped calling and we, we kind of lost interest in it. Um, and then I'd say a couple months later, uh, I get a phone call from my friend Sarah. She goes, my, my friend um, is working at Wendy's. I knew what she was talking about. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, y y are you sitting down? I'm like, no. So sit down. So I sat down and... Um, Apparently, her friend uh, is now working at the Wendy's, and although we haven't called them in months, they are still getting calls about y'all got ham boo. <laughs> and it turns out that it, it just it resonated with them so much that on their days off, they call in <laughs> to fuck with the people who are working there. <laughs> so <laughs> this legacy, and I, I think the greatest part. Uh, about the whole thing is that th they never knew that it, why we were saying it. It was from the broken sign. And, and I, I know a, a, a newspaper, um, when uh, President Obama came to speak, they actually criticized Wendy's for not having a, a working sign. Um, but they, they have fixed it. Um, the, the sign is fixed. It says old-fashioned hamburgers once again. Um, but I still call them every once in a while. So when I get them on the phone, I go, y'all got ham boo? Ergers? Thank you, guys. Mm.